I'm harvesting zucchini today and I'm planning on freeze drying it using four different ways and then I'll reconstitute it to use in the future. So join me today as I show you how to freeze dry and use zucchini. Hi, I'm Gardener Scott, and every year I grow a lot of zucchini in my garden. It's a great crop to preserve. Most of the time I'll make pickles, or I'll freeze it, or I'll make it into bread and then freeze the bread. All great ways to preserve this harvest. Today, I'm going to freeze dry my zucchini, and I'm going to do it to get four outcomes. I like to have grilled zucchini. So one of the things I'm going to do is freeze dry it and then after I reconstitute it, throw it on the grill and see how it turns out. I also like to saute slices of zucchini with onions. That's number two. After I reconstitute it, I'm going to saute it and see how it turns out. And zucchini bread is one of my favorites. So I'm going to shred the zucchini, freeze dry it, reconstitute it, and make it into bread and see how the bread turns out. And then, because I've never had it before, the fourth thing I'll do is just make zucchini snacks where there'll be little cubes of freeze dried zucchini just to pop in my mouth. So let's get to it. For the zucchini that will be grilled, I like to use smaller, younger zucchinis. I'll cut the top and the bottom off, and I usually like to cut off the skin on one side. I should actually do two sides. This will help me get nice, even slices. And then I'll just go ahead and cut some relatively thick zucchini slices. These are what I usually throw on the grill. But for this exercise, I'll be freeze drying them, reconstituting, and then throwing on the grill. Now I'll take these planks of zucchini and lay them out on the tray. Trying to fit as much as possible. I might actually trim some of these if they don't fit perfectly well, but I should be able to get two zucchini worth into one pan. The previous slices were about half an inch. These will be a little bit thinner, closer to three-eighths of an inch. I want to try to get them as uniform as possible. I like to use thinner zucchini because I think it tends to cook up better and it's easier to eat. This is a pretty big zucchini, so I may just use this one by itself in the pan. Let's go ahead and start placing them in. This one zucchini actually fits pretty good. I'll overlap a couple of them. For this next batch, I'll make cubes. A little bit bigger, just over half an inch, so that when they're dry, they'll be bite size and should be really nice and tasty. I'll go ahead and just cut each of these into bite size pieces. So I should be able to get six to nine for each of these, and then I'll just throw them on the tray. So that these little squares should be perfect for eating. In fact, I'll go ahead and eat one now while it's raw. Zucchini, when it's harvested at the right time, is actually pretty fresh. So these should be really nice snacks. So trying to spread it into as close to a single layer as I can, but that one zucchini has filled this tray pretty nicely. The bigger, thicker zucchini tends to be the one that we use most often in bread. Now, what I'll do here 
is trim around the outside so I only have the flesh and I cut out the seeds in the middle because I don't like seeds in my bread and I think most other people don't either. So I'll cut the zucchini into spears to feed into my food processor. I'm trying to leave as many of the seeds behind as possible. And so now I'll shred the zucchini. I think the hardest part about making zucchini bread with reconstituted shredded zucchini is going to be figuring out how much water to use when we reconstitute it. My zucchini bread recipe uses two cups of shredded zucchini. So what I'm going to do is measure the weight of two cups of the shredded zucchini with the water already in it. And then after we dehydrate it and need to reconstitute it, we'll know exactly how much water to add by weight to get the same amount. So I'll turn on my scale. I've got my two cup container. And now I'll just pack in two cups of the shredded zucchini. So it looks like, I'll go a little bit heavy, but let's call it 12 ounces is how much two cups of shredded zucchini weighs. I'll go ahead and pour this into the tray, spread it out, and I think I should be able to get another two cups on the other side. So this tray is going to hold four cups of the shredded zucchini, which should give me two of the recipes that I'm going to make. So I've got the four cups of divided shredded zucchini. If I see any seeds, I pull them out at this point, usually when I'm making bread. So might as well do the same thing right now before I dehydrate. But it all looks pretty good. It's mostly seed free. I went ahead and started the cool down cycle on the Harvest Right freeze dryer before I shredded. So it should be nice and cold right now. I'll go ahead and load this in and get the other trays loaded in and start freeze drying. So all of the zucchini is in. It's already down to 36 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to be freezing in no time at all. I'll go ahead and push continue. And we're freezing. Sometime tomorrow is when I expect this to be done. After a little more than 25 hours, the process is complete. Now it's time to check the zucchini and put it into storage containers. The sliced and the cube zucchini fit into glass jars perfectly. There was some leftover of the cubed and it really does make a delicious snack. Next, I have another one. Next, I'm going to go ahead and weigh the shredded zucchini to try to figure out how much water was lost during the freeze drying process. I'm just going to put this into the bowl. I don't want to lose the, sh the shape of the shred. Remember, this was 12 ounces of the shredded zucchini to begin with. And now, it looks like it's just over 0.8 ounces. Wow, that's pretty crazy. This weighs next to nothing. But it's not that surprising because I measured the water that I got out of the freeze dryer when making this batch and it was more than 11 cups of water. That's more than half a gallon of water from this zucchini. So to get about 12 ounces of weight with this shredded zucchini, 
I'm going to have to add almost 12 ounces of water and I'll show you that when I reconstitute this. For now, I'm leaving that zucchini in the jars. These planks are in a glass container and these will go in my pantry until it's time to use them. It's been about six weeks since I harvested and freeze dried this zucchini. I've been freeze drying a lot of stuff and having fun with it. Now I'm getting back to the zucchini and I want to see how it works when I rehydrate it and then use it in some of my favorite recipes. I'm going to begin with the shredded zucchini. Now remember we weighed the water in this to begin. So I have 11 ounces of filtered water that I'm adding back to this jar of shredded zucchini. And I'll just pour this in, let it reabsorb the water, and I'm going to make some zucchini bread with this. So while this is rehydrating, let me get to the rest of the ingredients for the zucchini bread. While I was mixing together the flour and the eggs and the sugar and all the other ingredients, the shredded zucchini has just been sitting in the water and it looks like it has mostly absorbed the water. There's still a little residual water around the edges, but that's not that unusual when you use shredded zucchini. So even though there's extra water, it's what we measured in the beginning, I want to use it all. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this into my mixing bowl and mix the shredded zucchini in as though this was shredded fresh. The batter looks like it normally does. The zucchini is incorporating pretty well. It's actually holding its shape. It's not falling apart at all. And as of right now, I couldn't tell the difference between freeze-dried or fresh shredded zucchini. I'll pour the batter into my bread pans and then I'll put it into my preheated oven and we'll see what the final result is. Now, if you're wondering what recipe I use, I'll put a link in the description below to my how to make zucchini bread video, and it'll show you exactly what my recipe is for what I think is a delicious zucchini bread. So this is ready for the oven. I'll come back to you when it's all done. Everything's looking okay with the bread baking. The zucchini bread has completely cooled. So now let's go ahead and give it a taste test. It looks beautiful. Go ahead and just slice a piece off. I can see the green of zucchini. It smells like zucchini bread. It's moist and delicious like zucchini bread. It works. Freeze dried zucchini, zucchini bread. I'm sold on this. Now let's go ahead and rehydrate and cook up some of these freeze dried zucchini slices. I begin by sauteing some onions in a little olive oil. I'm just softening the onions at this point. Then I'll take the slices and I have a bowl of warm water and I'm just going to dip the slices in. It doesn't take long for them to absorb the moisture and just after a couple seconds, this is what I'll put into my skillet. So I'll take the slices, a couple seconds in the water and then into the skillet. And the moisture from the onions and a little bit of steam from the water that's in these slices should help reconstitute 
the zucchini and then give it a nice flavor as it cooks. As it cooks, I'll let it brown on each side and then flip it over so it's even browning. Looks like it's cooking up nicely. And it's already softening up quite a bit. These are no longer hard disks. It looks just like a normal sliced zucchini. This looks like it reconstituted pretty well. Each of these zucchini slices look like they could have just been cut fresh and popped into a skillet. Let's taste it. It tastes like zucchini. The inside actually tastes really good. But the skin is pretty dense. Normally I'd be able to pop this whole thing in my mouth and eat it, but the skin is left behind. So I could see this working pretty well if you went ahead and freeze dried it without the skin on. I think with the skin, it tastes okay, but it's just an extra bit of chewiness to it. So the flavor's good, it cooked up great. Just not so sure that leaving the skin on is the best idea. Now let's go ahead and reconstitute these zucchini planks. I've put some water on a plate. I'm just going to rest the zucchini on the plate for a few seconds. Feels like it's absorbing it pretty quickly. Turn it over to the other side. Allow some extra to drip off if any, there actually isn't any dripping. And then I'll put it onto a plate. And I'll do it again. Zucchini on the plate, absorbing the moisture. And you can see the color change as it reabsorbs the water. The outside soak it, soaks it up right away. The interior does appear to take a little bit longer to soak up, but that's okay. We'll give it a few minutes to fully absorb the water. My grill is preheating and I went ahead and poured some olive oil on these planks. It actually absorbed the olive oil pretty well too. So they're nice and soft and I think they're ready to go out and start cooking. They've grilled on one side. Let's go ahead and flip them. Have some really nice grill marks. So visually, it looks pretty good at this point. Now let's see how they taste. As I attempt to cut through them, the skin is definitely tough. Tastes really good, but the skin is chewy. If I cut just the inside and leave the skin behind, it's a little bit tougher. It's not as tender as a fresh zucchini, but it's edible. I put a little salt and pepper on it. So without the skin, Maybe not by itself, it would be good because by itself, I can detect that texture difference. When it was cooked with the onions, I really couldn't tell much difference, but I can with this. It's not a complete lost cause, but I don't think this is the best way to reconstitute and cook freeze dried zucchini. So, freeze drying little cubes and eating them as snacks, pretty tasty and a healthy way to get zucchini in your diet. Grating it, freeze drying it and using it in bread, 
definitely works. I think if you cut it without the skin and then reconstitute it in a dish like with sauteed onions, it definitely has promise. The grilling doesn't work so much. So, snack bites, good idea. Zucchini bread, great idea. The rest, I think we need to keep experimenting with. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening and preserving your harvest. Mm -hmm.